Okay, God has really been on this rooftop thing. And the other day, he showed me something about a rooftop, but I was thinking maybe that's just coming from me. And then yesterday, I was backing out of my driveway to go pick up my son from school. And out of my peripheral vision, I see stuff falling from the sky. So I look over and there's like seven men on a rooftop, okay? <laughs> the construction workers were on the rooftop replacing the old tile with new tile okay out with the old in with the new i make all things new you can't put um new wine into old wine skin okay and you are a new wine skin all right god sent an army okay you were stripped of everything by the locusts and your mission was to conquer that army and you did because god fought the battle for you okay and you had to go through that experience it hurt and it was painful but it's all to benefit you okay even when we lose we win and you had to go through that experience to gain the wisdom and the knowledge so you can relate to people and be a testimony on how God can and will get you through that experience Okay, and many of us are being restored right now in this hour. Restoration is synonymous with healing, repairing, returning to a previous state of being. Okay, because time travel is real, y'all. <laughs> and it's not found in a black hole, okay, a time machine. It's found in Jesus Christ, all right. So in Revelation, um, John is shown visions of the present and the future. And by the way, Revelation is not about Armageddon or the rapture, it's about Jesus Christ. Okay, all 66 books of the Bible are about Jesus Christ. Christ okay so Jesus Christ was revealed to you and that's why you know what's happening in the present because he he tells us we know what season we are in in the present because he tells us the spirit leads into all truth we are the watchmen and he's shown you what things that are going to happen in your future. He doesn't give us all of the details, but it gives us hope. And we have faith that it will come to pass. Okay. But first, he had to take you back in time and he can do that. Okay. He can do things like that. Because he is the one who always was, who is, <clears throat> excuse me, he, <laughs> he is the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. Okay, he is I am. He is everything. So he's time too. He is the past, present, and the future. 2 Kings 20, 10 through 11. The shadow always moves forward, Hezekiah replied. So that would be easy. Make it go 10 steps backward instead. So Isaiah the prophet asked the Lord to do this. And he caused the shadow to move 10 steps backward on the sundial of Ahaz. Okay, 10 steps. 10 divine order. Everything is lining up the way God intended it to be. Divine order. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. He destroyed the future that the devil had planned for you. 
and created a new future for you. Okay, and, and it's already here. Okay, it's already been done in the spirit realm. We, you know, we just haven't seen it in the earthly realm. But it's, it's right around the corner, okay, because this is a new season for God's chosen people, okay? And people, they seek counseling, okay? Therapists, they go to doctors for years, okay, to get healing with no results. And God is going to heal you <clears throat> at a supernatural speed, okay? The devil puts you through years of damage and God is going to reverse that damage okay and restore your life speedily okay supernaturally in an instant and God is going to place you in a high position when it takes people years of schooling okay years of blood sweat and tears and you're just gonna pop up on the scene out of nowhere they're gonna be like how did you get here uh god opened a door and i walked through it <laughs> when i walked through <laughs> ah, poof you be like here i am here i am lord to serve you and the kingdom okay our time it doesn't operate like theirs does because we're in a different realm okay we're on heavenly time okay time is different with us okay see they didn't they didn't have faith okay they didn't have faith but you have faith okay you have faith you stepped into this realm because you believed in the lord your god the devil could take everything else, but he couldn't take your faith. Nah, because that's a gift from God. Jesus replied, I have already told you and you don't believe me. The proof is the work I do in my father's name, but you don't believe me because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me for my father has given them to me and he is more powerful than anyone else no one can snatch them from the father's hand thank you jesus the father and i are one john 10 25 through 30 okay he's going to give it all back and more okay he is restoring his people and we're about to see a lot of signs miracles and wonders okay god has been talking a lot okay he's been flooding me with messages about uh his people okay the church the body and he's been giving me personal messages too all right confirmation after confirmation after confirmation i'll go back to back to back to back to back okay and you know he gives me confirmation but it is back to back to back to back okay i've been so emotional okay listen 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 okay joel 225 the lord says i will give you back what you lost to the swarming locust the hopping locust the stripping locust and the cutting locust it was i who sent this great destroying army against you once again you will have the food you want and you will praise the lord your god who does these miracles for you never again will my people be disgraced Okay, Isaiah 61, 7, instead of shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. You will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. Okay, he is going to repay you for everything that you've been through. Okay, Zechariah 9, 12, come back to the place of safety, all you prisoners who still have hope. I promise this very day that I will repay two blessings for each of your troubles. Signs, miracles, and wonders in this hour for those who love God. 
Okay, for those who love God, get ready for these signs, miracles, and wonders in this season, okay? In this season, this is our season, okay? And it's all uh, for God's glory, all right? I love y'all who just blessed you. God is not a liar. He is not a liar. He loves you so much. And you about to see how much he, he loves you, okay? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.